So I've had this conversation about 50 times in the last week. I think it's a good conversation to have. So I'm going to have the conversation with my cell phone. And if it's productive and valuable to someone, that's awesome. So clearly we're in a very negative time. And no one needs, no one needs explain, like explain the situation. Everyone knows what's going on. But this situation doesn't have to be a net negative. Okay? There's different ways you can come out of this situation better off in a lot of regards than you, than you went in. So the situation is so unique because it, it was unexpected. No one asked for this. This stuff happens in life, unfortunately. You come home from work and you're expecting a spaghetti dinner with your wife and boom, you're getting divorced, all right? Or you go to work and you're getting fired or you're getting laid off. Things happen and those are the hardest things in life to deal with. It's very hard to be productive and positive during those times. But when that stuff's happening, you get you have an opportunity to make tremendous growth, you know, and that doesn't happen every day. So we're all kind of this is all thrown on all of us all at once. So focus on on, on a, a different aspect of your life during this and try to make some gains in it. For example, like everyone's a lot of people aren't working. That sucks. You might not come out of this ahead financially in terms of how much money you have, but you can still work on your budget. Do you even have a budget? Now's a good time to figure out a budget. And then when things go back to normal, you have a budget set, right? And you can use that to save more money or or, or put more money in towards other aspects of your life. Or if you want to focus on, you've always wanted to focus on being more physically healthy and then mentally healthy, which is a huge, you could, the sphere of things you can work on mentally are almost unlimited. Uh, unlimited. But you get the point. You can focus on other things in your life right now and really be productive in it because you have the time. It sucks that we can't go be social and you can't go to Applebee's and all this stuff. But if you focus on any other thing in your life that you want to improve, you can come out of this on top. Maybe not, again, in every aspect, but in general. Maybe you want to work on having a better relationship with your wife or like having better communication. Now's the time. You, maybe you couldn't have done it before because you guys were working 50 hours a week and you barely had time to talk. Now, that's great for your bank account, but that's not good for your long-term relationship, you know? So now take the time to sit down and, and work on that a little, little bit. You can just have a small conversation. You can come up with a plan together like, hey, we should meet once a week and talk about our relationship, be super honest with each other. Let's take the time. It could be anything. You can learn how to speak a different language. You can learn how to play guitar. You can learn how to cook better. You can organize your house. You can organize your life in, 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 a, certain, in a certain way. There's plenty of stuff that you could be doing right now that at the end of the day, when things go back to normal, two weeks, two months, that you're, you're better off than when you came in. You know, another unique aspect of this is that um, it's hard to get perspective on these things normally because you're so, you're so, you're so busy. Get up at six, go to work till five, get off. You have five errands to run, all this stuff. And then by the time you have an actual chance to think about any of these, any of these things I'm talking about, you know, am I happy? How do I feel about my life situation? What, what am I missing out on? Do I want to do something else? You know, how do I feel? You don't even have the time. You have 30 minutes where you have to go to bed and do it all again. So it does suck that you can't go to work right now. And you can't do all these things, but you can disconnect yourself from those distractions I suppose and focus on other aspects of, of your life that you have been neglecting and kind of maintenance those a little bit and then when things go back to normal you're on top baby you're better than you go in um, uh, another point is you can set up a whole new routine because your routine has been broken for you unfortunately and some people are not happy about that me included but again it's like well I could just be pissed off about it, which I am, but, or I could, I could set a new routine and I can add in the things that I've wanted to add in. I just haven't had the time um, to really do that. You can set a whole new routine for your life. Anyway, that's, that's the, the spiel, you know, and for me, I've been doing this stuff for, for a couple months now, even before all this happened, because I've always had an issue with being reactionary. So when I react to stuff in a productive, positive way, things are clearly always better. But I have a tendency, depending on where I'm at, 
to react negatively and that's never worked out for me unless it's been in the fight and I got punched in the face and I got angry that typically works out pretty good so um and this isn't some I don't want to come across like Ned Flanders you know Oakley Doakley this isn't some purely positive like you have to only be positive and you can't get upset and if you get depressed or you get angry you're, you're you're not being productive that's unrealistic I don't think that's healthy and you know I think you should embrace some of those feelings they should help you want to change if you're sucking if you're depressed and you're angry about something in your life use that as motivation that's your brain telling you hey there's some things you need to change here so change them um yeah so I hope this was beneficial and again, it could be anything in your life. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be something as small as, oh, I've always wanted to write a journal. I've always wanted to make sure I paid my bills on time. Me, you know, I, I, I've always had a hard time making sure my schedule was completely on point. Last two weeks, that's what I've been doing. And it's helped working out great. Haven't been late to anything so far. So it could be anything, guys. Just find something, grind on it. Make some gains, baby. And uh, hopefully we get through this, you know, soon and things go back to normal. But if they don't, you know, start getting ready now. Start getting that mental toughness now. So if things get even worse, you're solid and it doesn't break you down anymore and you can, ha <clears throat> you can handle it better. One last point I'll rant on. Oh, man, six minutes already. Six minutes, man. I gotta, I gotta practice condensing things. Um, one last little point is when you're doing these things, for me, this has been very helpful. Instead of just going, I'll use me, I've wanted to work on my budget. What, where does every dollar go that I spend, right? I wanna know where it's going. Instead of just saying, oh, you know what, I'll make sure I, I only spend money on things I need, right? That's not going to work very, t you know, because you forget. So actually take the time to start from the basics. Get a piece of paper, write down a plan, come up with, you know, I'm going to keep my receipts or I'm going to do this or I'm going to write down everything that I buy. You know, start from the, the bottom and make an actual plan. It's so beneficial. The desire to change for most people is there. Desire is normally not an issue. It's the understanding on, on how to change that's the problem. For example, if I want to push my car and park, I could want to push my car more than anything. But until I get in my car and put it in neutral, the car is not going to move. So not just the desire, but the understanding how to make these changes in your life is very important. So again, we all have the time. We all, we all, we've all been disconnected from our day-to-day -day routine. It's a really good time to try to do this stuff and it could be very helpful in dealing with stuff in this stressful time. And I hope everyone is safe and uh and yeah hope um, um, i hope this is productive and and helpful for some of you later